understand symbolisms. 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 What do they mean? What, what are the signs? When you see something happening, is there a message? Are these subliminal messages? When I say symbolism, we're talking about the expression of uh, mystical or spiritual ideas through the use of symbols. It says all those below the 30th degree are not supposed to know. But the higher you go, the greater the revelation that they can trust you with more revelation. Then you come to the final point. From the 30th degree, you get to know that their doctrine is that Lucifer is God. Look at this goat. Can you see? He has two horns and the head of a goat with the all seen eye in a triangle at the bottom. So that's supposed to be Lucifer's seen eye under. And up there you have the goat, the goat of Mendes, Baphomet by name. Satan's sign is a goat sign. And if you belong in any court where the sign of the idol is a goat, you are into Satanism. Maybe they never told you. You're into Satanism. I really have to explain these things to you on the symbolism because here it's all geared towards mind control, propaganda, and then you got real rituals. And what has happened in the last few years is that through films, Hollywood films, and these global games like the Olympics and the Commonwealth, they bring out to the open what they plan to do, which they have concluded in the spirit realm. And I said, learn to separate the games from the rituals. Because the real reason for the gathering is the rituals. That's what started with the Olympics. It was the rituals. It was the religious ceremonies, the worship of idols. And all of these things are being worked together to create a world that is completely hostile to its inhabitants. The Arch of Palmyra. Look at it. This is the Arch of Palmyra. This led into the Temple of Bel. Now they call it Bel. The Bible calls it Baal. Okay, in the English. Uh, translation of the Hebrew text. It's Baal. So this led into the temple of Baal. Baal is the Babylonian God. I want you to understand this. Baal is the Babylonian God. A replica of this arch is being transported to different countries and different cities today. They've taken it to London. They've taken it to New York. All right? The United States, Spain, it was in Florence. They took it there for the G7 summit. They set it up there. And everywhere they take it, people are fascinated by it. But what is, what is the message? So, oh, we're just carrying it around. We just want to, it's about history. It's not about history. It's not about history. It's part of the symbolism. What is that? We are ready for what? Babylon. This is what it's about. See, I want you to observe the worship, the idol worship there, the idolatry, the horrible idolatry that we just saw. They made all the sports people there get involved in this. And in fact, at the point, several of them were using, doing the sign of the bull with their fingers like that. Did you notice those who were supposedly pulling the bull? 
like they are the captives, they are the ones in trouble, those who oppose them, and they're showing us openly what they know happened in history. Are they telling us what they plan to do with the brazen bull? Knowing the history of the brazen bull, it was said to be the most cruel torture mechanism. Here's how it works. A hinged trap door opens up the bull's back. This reveals a hollow chamber where victims are locked inside. Flames from a fire pit beneath then lick the belly of the beast. So basically the brazen bull is an oven built to cook humans. But then the device gets really twisted. Inside the head is a system of brass tubing that converts the high-frequency screams of a burning victim into the low-frequency bellow of an infuriated bull. So are they telling us what they plan to do to Christians and those who oppose them? There can't be any other reason for doing this. I think it's an insult to Christians in the very least and it's a threat if you go beyond the insult so the symbolisms are not strange at all they understand exactly what this is but i tell you from now until the rapture of the church the church of jesus christ will not go under i want you to know that the church will not go under. So all of this preparation is for after we have gone. After the sound of the trumpet. After the church is out of here. Because until that happens, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. There shall be no end. And the Lord brought us at this time for a reason. So we are truly his battle axe and weapons of war.